Nvidia, um, who is also one of the leading technology uh, organizations, announced about their AI agents, um, how they want to bring an AI agent as a coworker for uh, for the humans, uh, as we technology professionals when we do our technology oriented stuff for various clients or even for our organizations as well, right? Salesforce brought about Agent Force, right, as an autonomous agent um, uh, to scale uh, the specific technology oriented aspects. One is your decomposing tasks, right? What do you mean by that, right? For example, if uh, if there is a complex task a user is actually embarked on, right, then your system actually generates a plan, right? What we call it as um, a, a detailed plan, right? In order to fulfill the request, right? You're fulfilling the request is all about reaching your goal, right? Depending on the capabilities of your available agents. I think already there is a new buzzword apart from the agent, which is MCP, Model Context Protocoling, right? And this, this will actually change the dynamics. This will actually change uh, the ball game um, from an agentic standpoint in terms of how we are going to uh, embrace, adopt, and uh, learn um, agents, agentic uh, AI agents, interventions, and so on and so forth at a faster but at a very effective manner. My last slide, which is takeaways, which is about your importance of agents and its evolution. I'm sure you would have understood about that. Understanding a high level of an agentic AI as to why agentic AI, AI agents is, is making a difference now in the marketplace. Your agentic AI capabilities, as we spoke about from memory management, task decomposition, right? Excellent, right? Um, and, and the last but not the least thing is all about your high level of understanding of MCP, right? The importance of MCP, how MCP can actually make a differentiator for agents to come and do the job and make the agents survive and thrive, right? In this new tech landscape.